What's going on guys? Miguel with Purple Flare Ash. So I want to show you guys what we got going on in the shop today. As usual, we have a full shop. Thanks to you guys uh, for your business. And thank God, of course. Uh, we got this commercial vehicle here waiting to be robbed. We got another uh, one or two commercial vehicles outside in the front waiting as well. Um, we got this Jeep Grand Cherokee here, I believe. Oh, it's an SRT. I was going to say, I believe it's a tra uh, Trackhawk. It's getting a full Chrome Delete. As you can see, we have Tristan here doing the chrome. So all the chrome is basically uh, getting wrapped in black. It's just chrome on the window. This car has like a very, very bad texture to it. A lot of tree sap. Uh, so we removed as much as we could. The chrome is also a little bit rough. So some of this stuff is kind of showing through, unfortunately. Uh, but it's looking phenomenal. I mean, if you look up close, it's actually very, very good. Right there. So by, this is the type of stuff we couldn't get out from the chrome. Uh, and usually these guys just will come off uh, when they do the final wipe. It just comes out with my finger. Uh, we got this Porsche Taycan. This Porsche Taycan we actually wrapped uh, a year ago, uh, maybe a year and a half. So like January or February uh, 2021. So this one we wrapped fully with 3M, uh, gloss, whatever, red. Uh, and then we did a matte uh, premium shield paint protection film on top. We also have the hexes. Uh, forged carbon accents that we put on it. Uh, cars holding on really, really well. It's definitely over a year. It looks like paint. It looks great. Uh, customer damaged it. Uh, they got a very, very nasty rock ship uh, right around here. Uh, and basically, it went through the PPF and it went through the vinyl. Uh, the customer told me he needed body work. So we actually ended up not needing anything. We just took the film off, both films off. Obviously, took out the mirror, took out the handle. Rewrapped it. Thankfully, we were able to find the vinyl available and then rewrapped it with the PPF on top. And as you can see, it is ready to go now. Uh, this one uh, had a wrap we just removed. Uh, seems like 3M, uh, gloss metallic purple, or whatever they might call it. We removed the wrap in its entirety. Didn't, didn't damage the paint. It came out really good. Uh, left a little bit of adhesive residue on some spots. We got to clean that. Uh, and we're doing a, an entire wrap. It's going to be like uh, Lakers, a custom print. Uh, I think it's actually Kobe Bryant print. Uh, then we have the Audi RA right here. The Audi RA we wrapped eight to 12 months ago. That actually just went up on our Instagram story today. Uh, we are removing it and changing it to an uh Miami Blue, Super Gloss Miami Blue. So as you can see, the full wrap has been removed. Uh, no easy residue. This was wrapped on tech wrap before. This is a wrap we actually completed originally in like eight hours uh, because the customer was going to a rally. Uh, so right now we're in the removal process. Our mechanic is also disassembling. The, obviously the door panels to take out the mirrors. We gotta take out the rear wing, loosen up the bumpers. And then obviously from that point it's gonna be starting the new wrap uh, sometime today. Right here we got this Mercedes van CLA. This car we had originally wrapped about, I don't know, three to four years ago. And now uh, we obviously removed that wrap. It was wrapped with Avery. It was really poorly taken care of. Uh, you know, like the car never got washed. So, so removal was very difficult. The removal took a lot of time. Uh, we got it off anyways without damaging the paint. And now it's getting wrapped with APA or APA, APA films. Uh, it's getting this, I believe it's called Sunset Shift. It's like a very, very nice purple with that really nice metallic to it. Uh, the entire car is getting wrapped, of course. I will show you guys along the other side right now so you can see the progress and the quality. Obviously, we got Rudy right here. He's actually working on removing the mirrors, door handles. Obviously, he had to take out the door panel. Uh, it seems like he had to take out the speaker. Rudy, YouTube video. How's it going with the removal? Huh? How's the removal going? Easy. 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 That's what he says. That's what he says. And obviously, as you can see, as Rudy's removing the twin jobs, of course, you can see he has clean hands right now. But this is Rudy's diet right here. Hot Pringles. <laughs> so obviously he's getting the mirrors out. There we go. As the mirrors are out, that will allow us to remove the wrap in its entirety and therefore install the new wrap. Commercial wraps. we got this commercial wrap going on. This is for Best Air. Best Air, if you guys watch this, Thank you guys so much for your business. They give us a lot of business. We take care of their entire fleet. They get vehicles. We drop them off and we just wrap them back to back to back. We make sure the image is always consistent. We're printing house. We make sure the colors are good. 
installation is quick, you know, normally we turn these vehicles around for them in one to two to three days, one to three days, I would say. Obviously, some vehicles are faster than others just based on the complexity. As you can see, this one is a transit, so it has a lot of cuts and stuff. Uh, but obviously, we'll get about in the road as soon as possible. And then obviously, we got this uh, Kenworth truck. Uh, basically going from white to gloss black metallic. Um, I actually put that on Instagram last week when we were wrapping the Fender. I'll show you guys the computer product with the Fender right now so you guys can really get an idea of how it looks finished. As you can see right here, from here, uh, everything's already looking black. They got a lot on the roof left. And the guys are obviously up there right now. Uh, the scaffolding just uh, wrapping this area. So uh, let me show you guys the Fender. That's what the Fender looks like. Obviously, you guys see the videos. So we have a seam right here. We have another seam right there. Well, I couldn't even find it, so I had to fill for it. Uh, and that's the finished product. So, obviously, it looks like paint. Uh, but it is vinyl. It is removable. Um, this is the other side of the transit. Right here, we have another commercial vehicle. Uh, this is uh, complete temperature services. Uh, full commercial wrap as well. Dropped off yesterday. Our installer right now is working on landing up the graphics and finishing up this side. And then, uh, well, we'll get to the landing right now. Let me show you guys the ABA Films install. So as we said, uh, this side is being worked on in more advanced. So you can see right here, kind of like some of the finished product and what the color looks like. You guys see this color in the sunlight. See right here where the light's hitting, it just looks way better. This is a color that really needs to be seen in the sunlight. Uh, for those watching, we always get the questions, what film is that? APA, APA Films. Film from Italy, they're distributed out of Florida. Uh, so far, so good. It's a little bit thicker than the most films, so if you're not an experienced installer, don't use it, but if you know what you're doing, it's a great film. It is a cast film, so it's durable, it's stretchy and everything. It's a little bit thicker, it's a multi-layer film, that's how they achieve those effects. Uh, it looks phenomenal, this is our third wrap with it. Haven't had any issues. One of the rides we did, we did with door jams and everything. And again, so far, so good. Now for the Lambo. So we got this Lamborghini Hero Can. We're doing a full custom print wrap. As you can see, we didn't just assemble a lot on it because the graphics have to line up and because the customer requested to not just assemble a lot because they want it, of course, the graphics to line up and look good. This is a Turo vehicle. If you're looking to rent a Lambo in Vegas, check it out. Obviously, nowhere near completed. We have a lot missing. There's obviously, there's a, it's a kind of a multi-layer wrap, so it's gonna have another layer up there with this uh, dark blue right there. The, it's called Trenton Blue from KPMF. So this is what the graphics look like, and this is the main reason why we couldn't just assemble a lot, because we want things to flow. We want, you know, the print, this whole side was printed in one piece. Um, there's obviously a lot more going on with the gloss black, uh, details inside in some areas, obviously to avoid stretching the vinyl too much and to just make it look clean. But you can see the lines right there. This is all printed and designing house. I'll show you an up close of the print. The print's very sharp. In this case, obviously the customer wanted bright colors, asked for bright colors, and is getting bright colors. Uh, one of the things to know if you're purchasing a wrap from anybody, especially a custom wrap, is colors do change. So if you ask for a color. Uh, for your print to be, let's say, printed on chrome, printed on a uh, metallic, a silver, whatever, the color might look different than the screen. This still looks different than the screen. I mean, every screen is different. If you look at it on an iPhone versus a MacBook or a regular PC or a TV, the colors will appear different, and they also will print different. In this case, the customer just wanted as bright as possible. To make sure we went with bright colors. We printed a sample. The customer came, signed for the sample, make sure the colors were what he wanted. Here's the vehicle. We actually got to get this car back. We have a kind of a little bit of a tight deadline on it. Uh, Today's Tuesday. Uh, I believe he's, you know, obviously, I wouldn't say halfway because all this side is done. You still got the hood, you still got the trunk. But 30% to halfway. Uh, this is the older, obviously, the biggest panel. Um, the car has to leave Thursday afternoon because it has a booking already for Friday. Uh, one of the things we do for our tour hose is we take pictures. Uh, so once it's completed, we're going to obviously take it outside. Do a video for our Instagram so you guys can see it. Uh, the ones that follow us on Instagram anyways. And obviously we'll take professional pictures that we can use on our website. But we can also we will also provide those pictures to the owner of the vehicle so he can use it on his tour listing. So now he doesn't have to go pay another 
whatever, $100, $200 for a photographer to do on our photo shoot where we have a really good car photographer in-house and we get those things care of. Shout out to Ivan. Uh, he's the photographer. Um, anyways, then we have obviously our video guy here shooting some video uh, of this vehicle for the installation. Uh, we're doing a partnership video with uh, one of the detail guys that refers this customer. Um, anyways, we're good. Uh, and that's about it for the week. I mean, that's about it for today. Probably do another video tomorrow for you guys to see. Got going on. Let's check out this side of the truck. It's mostly black. It seems like we're just missing the roof up there. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for your business as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. If you could, please like, follow this video. Subscribe, thumbs up. Actually, this is on YouTube, so give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our page. Share it. We would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and help out Josh over there with the Lambo to get that panel blast. Thanks again.